Good morning, Rogers Motor Cars here. I thought it'd be fun to do a spotlight walk around video on my wife's 1967 uh, GMC Super Custom Deluxe. There were a lot of uh, one year only characteristics on these C10s for 1967 and uh, several things that were only specific to the Super Custom Deluxe. Uh, so let's start here with the, the low angle front hood. The 1967s had a lower angle hood than the rest of the truck from 68 to 72. Also, GMC was stamped in the grill only in 1967. After that, it went to the hood. The turn signals and side marker lights uh, are under the dual headlights on 67 trucks. Everything else that came on the fenders on the side, that was after a DOT law. The Super Customs had this badge. This trim came on the deluxe models. The mirrors were different. These are not original to the truck, but uh, the mirrors were painted the body color on the deluxe models. The steering wheel was different. And also the 67's Super Deluxe uh, Super Custom Deluxe trucks had the big rear window. Every other truck in 1967 had a small rear window. This is a neat truck. It was a one owner truck found on an Indian reservation in New Mexico. Built by a good friend of mine, Jeff Casty, Casty Rod and Custom. Right there. It does have an LS motor in it now. We left the original patina have not clear coated it. Those are 20 inch wheels in the back, 18 inch wheels in the front. The bed has all original condition back here. It's really neat patina. We've had this truck for about 10 years. I'm guessing she's put 10 or 12,000 miles on it. Picks the kids up from school, runs errands in it. We've taken it on some trips. The inside is pretty classic. With the red interior, fawn dash, Dakota digital gauges, does have vintage AC. These super custom deluxe trucks had the vinyl door panels. Uh, everything else had a metal, metal pa uh, panel there. Yes, it does have a Chevy horn button there. If somebody knows where I can find a GMC one, let me know. That's always bothered me that it's got the Chevy, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. It does have Bluetooth radio. This is a custom audio sounds. Those are junk. Every single one I've ever had quit working. So I unplugged that and I put a Kenwood Bluetooth amp, 400 watt amp uh, behind the dash. And so now you just, you're, you get in the truck and the music turns on. You use your phone for the volume. It's pretty nice. Show you under the hood here. Did a real good job of keeping it nice and clean under here. Nothing to be embarrassed about at a car show. It does have power disc brakes. It's a stock motor, plenty of power for, for her. We don't need to be out there smoking tires. This thing will cruise at 90, no problem. Drives straight as an arrow. It's a static drop, seven inches in the rear, and uh, six inches in the front. Really cool original patina. When I first brought it home, it was kind of quiet. Uh, it didn't make a lot of noise until you jumped on the throttle, and uh, she didn't like that, so we took it to the exhaust shop and. I cut those out and put some good old fashioned glass packs on it. So it sounds good now when you're just idling. Sounds pretty good now. So that's pretty much it for the 67 GMC Super Custom. Great truck. It'll probably be in my family for a long time. I think my wife would ever let me sell it. It's not really up to me.